Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your mid-monthly reading for the month of February. My name is Tiffany from Tiffany's Serology, and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. If you do want to get connected with me outside of the YouTube space, check the description box as I do have links to my Instagram, my other vlog channel where we're more one-on-one, -on -one, and you'll be able to also book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me if you desire to do so. Make sure to comment throughout the video if you find that you're connecting with any of the energies here. Subscribe if you haven't already um, and let's get diving in we're going to do a Celtic cross um, and we're going to dive into the energies that you might be feeling as this month of February ends and as we go into like Pisces season so I have all Piscean type cards for you guys we have the mermaid tarot whispers of the ocean oracle and the mermaids and dolphin oracle deck so ooh, that one wanted to fly out two of cups <laughs> showing up so we'll see if that one comes back but let's dive in what's the current situation for my dear gemini what is their current situation spirit anything we can know all right we have the emperor you're stepping into some really big power moves right now gemini we're going to dive deeper into the cards as we pull all of them there will be 10 in total but where are you focusing your energy, building an empire, setting up for yourself? Current challenge is justice. So again, where are you potentially not feeling as though you have like reliable people around you? Were you feeling like things are out of balance, out of whack? I see you having to really step up to the plate um, and help out. Maybe a partner is not being forthcoming or they're not being helpful or there's there's just a lot going on. Current strengths for Gemini, two of pentacles. So you're really being very fair, very balanced about how you're thinking about things. Area of focus. I like to think of this as like not necessarily like a, um, an area where you're struggling, but just where spirit wants you to actually put a little more emphasis could be a weakness in a way. You have the full card. So you're heading in a new direction. And I definitely feel that energy with the Emperor card here that you're starting to see life in a different light, in a different way. It is forcing you to have to go in a new direction, kind of whether you like it or not. Near future for Gemini. We will clarify any cards that need further clarification, but usually as the shuffling pulls through, we start to pick up more energy. Near future, Knight of Wands, you are definitely, definitely getting some fiery energy with the Emperor and the Knight of Wands that's going to help you catapult forward. The Knight of Wands is moving quick. We are passionate. We are ready to go. We are a warrior. We're ready for battle. And we're not letting anyone hold, hold us back. Recent past for Gemini. Recent past, this is an energy you've walked out of, walked away from learned vital lessons so ace of wands and two of swords so you probably had to make a really big decision about who's on your team do they make you happy is this where you want to be and there was some truth some information that came to the light that caused you to have to make decisions on behalf of that your advice from spirit is the five of cups the nine of wands it is time to go in a new direction i feel like you're being forced into a new direction but it's time it's time your environment for gemini thank you nine of swords you're up in your head maybe not sleeping well possibly having anxiety stress or worry over this change hopes and fears for gemini Hopes and fears. The sun. Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. You're like, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm scared I'll never reach it. Potential outcome for Gemini for our mid-February energy. Potential outcome. All right. You have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So against all odds, no matter who's against you, no matter how difficult the battle is feeling, you're setting forth on a new path. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's dive in. Current situation for you is, I want to be successful. I want to have autonomy over my life. I want to move in a new direction, but I'm being held back. I feel like the people around, like by the people around me or the people in your space, the situations that you're in that don't align with your highest and greatest good. For some reason, I'm feeling this emperor is trapped in like a subservient position. So you might be the type of person that really wants to get out there and become a entrepreneur, but you're working for somebody that's not giving you the energy that you that you need and um, the support that you desire. You also could be having to set boundaries with people because you're like, this is not the path that I'm going on. You're ready with the area of focus to go on into a new path with the full card. But there is this need for you to kind of come off a little bit less defensively because I don't think that you're drawing in the proper help from the people around you because there is maybe a stern energy or a more heavy energy that you're projecting outward. Um, I want to clarify that card. Spirit, what can we know about this emperor in their current situation? All right. Seven of cups in reverse. So you're, you, you're seeing past illusion. You're like, nope, that doesn't make sense. Nope. Not falling for it again this time. Like there is this, this, uh, movement out of when we see this seven of cups in the upright, there can be the energy of someone who has all these options and they don't know what to choose. When it's in the reverse, the choice is clear, the illusion is gone, and this emperor is saying, I know what I want, I know what I don't want, I'm not dealing with the crap anymore, cut the crap, is what I hear you saying to people or situations that are not serving you anymore, and you're like, I'm on this quest, whether, you know, for myself, whether you like it or not. But definitely tame the energy Definitely tame if you're also feeling anger. Allow karmic justice to be served, which comes up in the next card here. Your challenge is things are not fair. So although this is not in the reverse, we, we could think of the challenge as turning this card in the reverse. So you might not be getting paid enough. You might be overworking yourself. You might not be receiving the same... Um, love in return that you're putting out into the world, a partner might not be supporting you in a way that you thought that they would. So there's a need to establish more balance, more justice, uh, more singularity in your life, but karmic justice is yours. When the justice card comes out, especially upright, spirit sees what you've been going through. Spirit's going to level the playing field, balance the scales, so to speak. And what is out of balance in these two will become balanced. So you just have to hold on to the faith and hope that things will get better. Because again, you're seeing beyond the illusions, you're seeing that this is not fair, like something is really not right. in this situation where you know that your power is being abused, misled, undervalued, whatever the case is, and it's time for you to actually walk into uh, the strength that you have of, of uh, being in a better balanced situation. So with your strength being the two of pentacles, you you have a better vantage point, I feel like, than the average person does on how to make things fair, on how to balance things and juggle things. You're juggling a lot. And Spirit's saying, great, awesome, you're doing such a good job. But you also need to let people know, hey, this is how we should do it. Like, I, I see someone, I'm just feeling this energy, like, you're almost like yelling and nothing's happening. You're like, I, I know how to fix this. I know what we need to do. I, I know where we need to go. I know how to, to fix this problem. And it's being met with a lot of resistance. And you're getting frustrated <laughs> that it's being met with so much resistance. But real soon, even though this isn't in your near future, per se, the area of focus is the full card. I see you being like, if we can't get on the same page here, guys... I'm about to walk away. <laughs> I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go do something that aligns better with my soul. And I think in a lot of ways, the karmic justice that you're receiving is actually there's a block. And that block is keeping you safe and also forcing you to make this decision to move away. If that block wasn't there, if those people weren't there, if that negativity wasn't there, you wouldn't be able to actually walk out of the ocean and then, you know, 
take up your mantle, take up this this night of wands energy to blaze forward to do things you're passionate about um, because you would have stayed stuck. So sometimes when we go through situations like this where we have blocks, we have uh, negativity around us, we have people who are not allowing us to shine our brightest, we end up having to take up this mantle like we see in this card here and make our own pathway forward. And I see that's what happened here in your recent past where you had to make a decision about do I stay in this decision of fight against opposition or do I go after what makes me feel fulfilled and happy? And with you in the near future taking up that mantle, I see that you let go of the chaotic energy of this two of swords and you told yourself like, I'm not going to keep fighting. I'm not going to keep pushing for this to go in a direction that... I know ultimately we could make it work. We could do this. There is potential. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go after this myself. Because I know that I can and I know that this is what's best for me. If for some reason this message is about love for you, I see you having to break out of a relationship that is going nowhere. You're spinning your wheels. There's a lot of com like combative energy, a lot of confrontation, arguments. Um, you've been playing uh, referee a lot. These low-key look like little soccer balls to me. So like, don't know if that's important to you at all if you watch soccer, but you are done playing referee and you're like, it's time for me to actually go and be with someone better aligned for me. It's time for me to get back out to the dating game. If this isn't about love, it's time for me to go and make my own way forward. And I'm tired of being the footstool to other people and I'm going to create my own business, get my own start, get a new job, something like that. Because you're, you're tired of fighting and I, I completely get that. Your advice from spirit is let the emotions flow. And let what you need to let go be uh, released with the understanding that, yes, it's a hard road forward, but you can get there. You will get there. With the Five of Cups, there is a sorrow because you feel like you're losing things. You feel like your way forward is... How do I say it? Like your way forward is not what you thought it would be. The people that you're taking with you are not the people you thought that would be there or you feel like you're going it alone. You're having to leave behind parts of yourself, the old familiar, and you're having to understand that in order for you to reach your goals, to reach this volcano, the mountaintop, it's really time for you to just keep planting your wands, lighting your way forward and going on this journey with or without other people around you. And that's just the reality of sometimes having to like be an adult, to grow up, to move forward. You can't take everybody with you. If you want to become this emperor that you are, but I feel like you're not able to fully embody, it does require that you let things go that are slowing you down, that are making you feel alone, even though you might not be alone. Again, you saw through the illusions, so don't let people trick you. But there is this need to let go. Sorry about the glare on the cards. I'm going to try to close the blinds a little bit. So with your current environment... Having the Nine of Swords, babe, get out of your head. I know it sucks. I know what you're going through is rough. And it seems like all your worst nightmare, like look at this little scary thing down here is coming to get you. But you are more capable than you think. You are going to receive karmic justice. You have to just start believing it. Cloud out all the clutter, the chatter, the noise of things that are not working in your favor, of things you're afraid of. Some of you might literally be scared to take the step forward because you're like, what else is out there? Will I find prosperity? Will I find a new job? Will I find another love interest? Will there be something in place for me? And the beauty of this is the environment that you're struggling with is honestly one of the easier environments to change because it's internal it's in your head 
It's not necessarily that you're in a bad situation physically. Some of you might be, but it's really a battle of the mind of resiliency. Can you push forward in spite of all odds? Will you continue to look at life with vigor? Are you going to start taking that step forward into the new life? Or do you stay stuck in this kind of like drab, you know, dismal energy and allow your fears to take you for a ride? Because your emotional health is just as important as your physical health. And if emotionally you can't see your way forward and you can't see the light that you're looking for, as in this sun card, you will never get there because you are holding yourself back internally. With your hopes and fears, it's like this sun, this this way forward, this life-giving energy, like your freedom, ultimately. I see them looking out of the water. It is so close yet so far away. But the beauty of it is the sun card is like the most positive card in all of tarot. You will get there. It's just going to take a change in mindset, a change in how you believe in yourself, how you walk forward in your life. And you will along the way meet other people that will help you to accomplish your goals. You're not going to have to do this alone. Even though I feel like there's a lot of lonely energy in these cards here, the Emperor is alone, the Fool is alone, the Knight of Wands is alone. The Two of Cups tried to pop out earlier, right? And I see two people here. I think you're going to find energy from other people that are closely attached to you, that you connect with in time, that are going to allow you to see your way forward and to see yourself through and through get out of this water and towards the sun and be able to walk, you know, as this Fool card does, into your next phase, it's just difficult. So your hopes and fears, again, are just you worried that you're not going to reach that outcome that you desire, but you will. Your potential outcome is success. The five of wands are people opposing you. The knight of pentacles is pl planning out her future. She literally has like a paper, a book, a pen, and she's like, nope, I'm going after this. You will have opposition. You will have people that make you feel like you cannot move forward. You will have those who are naysayers, right? Contra contradicting everything you say, telling you you can't, making you feel bad for making the decisions that you're making. But you got two fives. You got um, the five of cups and the five of wands. So if you've been seeing five, 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 fifty-five, 55, change is coming for you, Gemini. You have to just be willing to cloud out the judgment of other people, the negativity, the conflict, and you have to actually be willing to pick up this Knight of Pentacles energy and be the type that says, not only am I ready to go to battle with the Knight of Wands, I'm ready to stay the course with the Knight of Pentacles and get to where you will be most successful, happier, able to rise, and eventually walk into this energy that I know you can embody and you do embody. You are so divinely guided. And I know that eventually you will be able to move from this Knight of Pentacles into your Emperor energy. And you will be so thankful for the trials and tribulations that you went through. Wow. It's a hard life out there for y'all right now, huh, Gemini? But I, I get it. It's very frustrating too. I didn't get hanged man energy, so I don't necessarily think that you feel stuck. But that, that nine of swords energy just lets me know you're really in your head. We're going to go ahead and pull some cards for you guys um, from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. We're going to do two from this deck and two from the Mermaid and Dolphins Oracle and wrap up your reading. But yeah, just allow who you are to shine through. Be yourself. Okay, make sure these are not, okay. And you will get there. Okay. You got three cards here. You got convey your meaning. You got inner desires. And we have help appears in various ways. Remember I was telling you help is coming? It's coming. It's coming. All right, so this shows a an eel it says reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself and be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity so don't get angry 
Tell them how you feel, say what you mean, mean what you say. And it's up to other people to either accept or to reject this way that you're feeling. This is also 41 adds up to five, 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 five. Like I just, I keep feeling that energy of like change is coming, but you have to be honest with others and with yourself about what it is that you want. If they are not listening to you, that is the perfect opportunity for you to say, you know what? I'm ready to walk on my own path. I'm ready to go do things my own way. For inner desires, it says, set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or you may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. So you're so close to being able to actually embody that emperor energy that it almost feels like it's the end of the road for you. There's this like dichotomy of literally at the line, but all the pressure building up because you have to push through just that little bit to get to the finish line. And I know you will. But your inner desires and saying what you need to say <laughs> is going to help you to achieve that. So set intentions, journal daily, have a mantra that you follow, something of that nature to help you achieve your goals. And then we have card number 35. It says help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift that you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. So your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. Maybe pull out your tarot deck if you do tarot. Pull out your oracle deck if you do oracle reading. And understand that your intuition is always there with you. There will be physical people along the way as well who are going to come into your life if you're if they're not already there to help assist you. So don't feel like you have to do this all alone. And don't feel crazy for walking out of a situation where you're like, I just don't belong here anymore. I have to find my my fish that fit me, right? My My community that can uphold the desires and wishes that I have for myself. And I know that you will. I know that you will. All right. Two, two, two on the clock. You're in alignment, baby. We're going to pull two cards for you here. So we have friendship. And we have half faith. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So friendship. It says make a date for a play day with one or more friends. So you are being asked by your spirit team to just not take life so seriously because it's been a very serious month for you of making big decisions and having to really cut ties. But the people that you actually are friends with, the ones that support you through and through daily, reach out to some of them and say, hey, let's go get a bite to eat. Let's go get a drink. Let's go somewhere fun. Let's go to the park. Let's journal. Like, do something that allows you to remind yourself that those fears and anxieties you have are nothing to worry about. You will get through it. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You still do have people that support you, even though it's hard when certain people oppose you because their energy hits a lot more than the, the ones that are still there. And remind yourself that in order to have friends, you must be a friend. So don't be so recluse right now. If you need the help of others, be open to um, others inviting you places. Uh, maybe take a chance on asking someone to do something if normally you don't do that. And just be more lighthearted. And then we have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So even when it seems like everything is against you, falling apart, this journey has been hard. You've been by yourself. You're not hitting the the marks like you would have wanted to. If you just take a little bit of time to understand that faith will move mountains, that time is of the essence, and that there is a patience needed to move forward, you will be successful. You don't have to worry about this. You're going to walk into that emperor energy. The The karmic scales of justice are there for you. Things will be made right. You just have to keep believing that and have faith that everything is going to be okay. So with all that being said, my dear Gemini, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your February. I'm sending you so much love, friendship, unity, and the ability to see your strength and remember who you are. Don't let anyone make you doubt who you are, even but for a second. All right. I'll see you guys soon for your March readings. And with all that being said, 
Bye, guys.